Gezi, congratulations. You've come through an absolute belter of a game. For us watching, it was immense. What was it like to play in? Exactly the same. I mean, it was tense. It was a good game. It was nip and tuck. I don't think, especially the last set, none of us played really well. And like said, anyway, it went right to the wire and thankfully I had a throw, otherwise uh, it probably could have gone the other way. That shows you the importance of set or set play and leg play as well. Because it was leg play, you I think it was um, 2014 up in in legs one, but set play, the drama just was went that, to was that Yeah, but yeah, that's that's why I always say this this tournament in the Grand Prix is sort of it's a leveler, yeah, and it is. It, it doesn't matter. You could be like I said, 20. I'm, I'm six, seven legs up. But it doesn't matter because of the set format, and it's a leveler, and the, and the and the lesser player can win. But you know, Kim could have won today, but but he didn't. Thankfully, I, I had the throw and, and I got through it. Do you love those games when a pair of you are giving it some up on there? And what did Kirk have to say to you both? Yeah, obviously, Kim knows. I think from from the past, uh, we have played loads and loads of times, and every time we bring this energy, I, I seem to come through on top. So maybe next time when when he plays me, he won't be so boisterous. For the champion to come through such a tough test like that, does that stand you in such good stead for the rest of the tournament coming through a last day for signing like that? Yeah, but knowing that I've come through a game so tight and you know, with the crowd on my back and Kim playing probably some of the best starts that he he's played all year and, and I was under par and to still win, then yeah, it's a big tap on my back and yeah, I got through by the skin of my teeth but I'm still in. For you as well, having played opening night, it's almost like a brand new tournament that you have to start the refocus and focus from scratch all again today. Yeah, exactly. I mean, 12 days breaks so or almost two weeks. So yeah, this was a, a new tournament for me, like a top 32 in the world in, in a brand new tournament. And that's why this game was probably so tough because it is, it's like a brand new first round for me. But now I've come through that, I've got one day's rest and I'll be ready to go next round. So you've got your family in the front row as well. How much does that mean and how much extra strength does that give you in those tight moments? Yeah, especially with my wife there because every every time I'm on my own or I, I got nobody to to feed off and yeah I think I put him through it a little bit today and she probably got no nails left but it's good to look over and know you got the support there especially like I said with the with the crowd the way they were. Congratulations, thanks. Very much. Congratulations, Gerin. Um, when you were two sets one, one down, what were, what was going through your mind there when you came back? I, I just knew that I just needed to start firing. I was. No way below par and I knew if I could start finding the treble that I put him under pressure and I could run away with the game but I just couldn't find that consistency in this game and you know even though I got through I just think I was a little bit below par and I was quite fortunate. You've got Dirk now in the next round, what are your thoughts on that match? Yes, it's going to be a tough game, every game is tough now the, the, the further in the tournament you go but like I said I t this game was like a first round for me so next game I I'll be a little bit more consistent hopefully and uh, yeah I won't be as nip and tuck and it won't be as close as this but hopefully I can just get, get out of the blocks pretty well and put him under a lot of pressure. And you said you were going to be watching the darts when you had your, your 12 day break, did you see anyone performing that you thought they could uh, challenge your title? Yeah I think if I don't win this tournament I think Michael Smith will, I think he's due a tournament, he's due a big win and he's firing really really well but it's whether he can get over that winning line and yeah, if, if I don't win it, I think Michael could go with it. Okay, well then, all the best. No worries. Then.